Good evening, Joseph and Mary. We two wise men have traveled thrice days across the desert following yon star so that we may bring gifts to the newborn Lord and Savior. There's another wise man, but he's out parking the camel. I see the infant is wrapped from head to toe in swaddling clothes to keep it warm on this cold desert night. Might you unwrap his face so that we may gaze into the eyes of our future king? Yes, Joseph. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to gaze into the angelic face of our new Lord and God. Oh, wow. Savior. Oh, good Lord. I mean, the Lord is good and great for, for delivering such a wondrous miracle unto us. Yeah, that baby's something else, all right. Uh, listen, I'm just going to leave the frankincense over here if that's cool. Would you like to hold the baby? No way. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's no way that these frail human arms are, are noble enough to, to hold that thing, a baby. But, uh, but on the way over here, all that a uh, wise man too could talk about was holding the baby. Dude, listen, uh, I just ate, and I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to hold babies uh, for at least 30 minutes or something. I, I think I read that somewhere. Isn't he a fine-looking boy? Yes, Joseph. I'm sure he'll grow into that nose someday. Uh, so have you thought the names for it? I mean, him yet. Yes, yes. Uh, you don't want to name it something that's going to get him in trouble with the other children. Yeah, names that don't rhyme with uh, ugly or freak uh, so that the kids won't be able to poke fun at him. Yes, because we all know how cruel children can be. Isn't that right, dickhead? It's Richard. Richard Head. And trust me, it's important to think ahead when you're naming your children. What about David? Uh, Sam is oh, nice. Or Jake. Sorry, I'm late. Jesus Christ. Oh, I like I like that. Oh, one. yeah, I that's like a good that. that's good too. I like that.